there. Today is day 33 of the Draw the Circle Prayer Challenge. And today's conversation was called Prayer Covering. And it's taken out of Exodus when Aaron and her raised the arms of Moses as they were in battle. And when his arms would fall, um, the Israelites were began to also fall. But when his arms were raised in victory, they were victorious. And so it, it spoke about the fact that they held his arms up until the end of the day, until sunset. Can you imagine that that was their job for the entire day to hold his arms up? Do you have that level of covering over someone in your life that you're ready to stand in the gap, that you're ready to hold their arms up when they feel weakened or if they're in a state where they need you to pray. I have a few women in my life that have provided that for me. Um, on this afternoon when Dale and I were talking through the conversation, we had a reflection about my mother and how we know she laid up so many prayers for us and, and how I really do get the sense of that prayer gap. However, there are women who have risen in my life who are praying for me and are interceding for me. In fact, I received a text message just today for someone reaching out to me, wondering to know how they can pray for me. And so I'm receiving that. So it's my responsibility to always be in mindset of who I am. And so um, prayer covering is so important. Praying hard is hard work. And so when someone uh, tells you they're in need of prayer, you want warriors that are going to go all in for you. And an example was provided in tonight's conversation with Father Nash. There was an evangelist that as he went out to speak and he would uh, run revivals, Father Nash would go in advance, days in advance, and he would lay prostrate before God and he would pray for God to bless that experience. And so do you have someone, it made me think about the people that I have in my life that have gone before me, who have laid out a sea of prayers uh, in before I arrived, before uh, I had the need. And so um, just being that prayer warrior. On uh, tonight, he also mentioned in the reading, again, it's called prayer covering, that um, prayer is the footnote. And so while there may be a headline and there's the end and how things go well and, and the miracle that happens, but at the footnote, the mentional is the prayer. And so the uh, conversation concludes with, if you intercede for others, make sure others are interceding for you. I always tell people to don't announce prayers for me. Don't say I'm praying for you. That's just an announcement. I want to know that you are going all in because I'm going all in for you. I look forward to connecting with you on tomorrow, which is day 34 of the Draw the Circle Prayer Challenge.